the episode is like 30 minutes, but the, I think this one is like, the first one like 44 minutes. They don't have no invention, and you need some girls that's like-minded. And they thought that was like a prison they should have been on the season. Thank you of no fucking phones, because it was like, bro, y'all had y'all phones. Like, <laughs> y'all got to smoke in my car. Nobody smoke in my car, bro. Nobody ever smoke in my car. Even, like, in real life, like, people that be around me that be in my car, I always tell them, don't get in my car if you want to smoke, because you're not smoking in my car. I don't play that shit. You held your composure even. So I held my composure a lot of times. Like, a lot of times. A lot of times. Drop three episodes. No. Oh, and speaking of OnlyFans, I had to take a break because bitch, I had to get eat something for lunch. Um, when I get done with these episodes, I'm uploading some more um club footage to um OnlyFans. Like all this but that's a crazy thing i, I always be sitting here people just be talking shit going in like but literally you know i'm getting y'all just bringing people to my content like the more people talk shit about me is the more people is coming to my youtube pages like all three of that so it's like it's a win win for me like a win is a win i don't give a fuck only fans not hurting only fans every time i check that shit the numbers is growing up bro and we we ain't even in the middle, bro. We on Wednesday. Wednesday, like, mind you, we leave on Monday. Mm -mm. Shit, they could do that food if they wanted to. I'm gonna talk about that. They kept trying to talk about the food, but I didn't see y'all going to Walmart. And buy stuff that y'all wanted to eat. Y'all wanted to eat these five star ass meals, but them pockets wasn't giving five stars. When we went in Walmart, y'all wasn't grabbing five star meals. When we was in the house, y'all wasn't door dashing or Uber Eats. Like, let's keep that shit a buck. Bitch just wanted to find something to complain about. You got me fucked up. You think I'm finna be anywhere? Bitch, even in the club, y'all see when I go in the club, bitch, I'm finna eat. Bitch was barely buying food in the club, so let's let's cut the motherfucking narrative. Oh, she starred us. Oh, it wasn't nothing in there. It was. It just wasn't what y'all wanted. And then even when y'all want, even if it wasn't what y'all wanted, I don't see y'all. Did y'all pick up the phone and place the order? No, like stop playing with me. Y'all bitches couldn't worry about the food because y'all was worried about buying fucking weed. Let's keep this shit a buck. Like, let's not complain about food. It's one thing to complain, but it's another to keep complaining and you didn't do anything to change that. Like y'all want to take pictures and shit, bro. I don't even, bro, it's, it's, what's how I do my reaction videos? Just motherfucking wait. Yes, bitch, peanut butter motherfucking jelly for lunch, bitch. Right, can't nobody stop her though, because even me now, like, when me being on shows and stuff, me filming for a whole nother show and just being on set with different stuff, bro, if they don't got no food, I'm finna, I'm finna do something. And the crazy thing about it, when you go on these shows, they do not fucking feed you, bro. They do not feed you. You have to feed yourself. Like, they don't give a fuck if you don't eat. Bitch, they don't give a fuck. You can sleep on the floor. They don't give a fuck. And it's like, I feel like people gonna have to, people gonna have to go through this shit to really appreciate all the love and, and care that I showed to them. Like, cause on other shows, y'all even see it on other shows, bro, y'all complaining about, the bed situation, bro. And other shows ain't no motherfucking bed for you to sleep in. Bitch, sleep on the floor. How about that? And other shows ain't no snacks. Ain't no three meals a day. Ain't none of that, bro. You feed, you feeding for yourself. Like, that's what it is. This was not a vacation. It was stripper boot camp. It was to come work on your goals and lead this bitch with a whole bunch of knowledge and lead this shit in a better position than what you came, came in. Why you looking for somebody else to feed you? You right, because, bitch, it was one show I went on, and they didn't have nothing. You know what I did? Oh, can we Uber Eats? Can we DoorDash? Send some food. Like, stop playing. And it's like, how are you going to let somebody starve you 
y'all gonna be in a house and it's not full and it was full y'all see me in that episode didn't go to sleep why they went to sleep and i even let them sleep in longer just so they can get some sleep bitch i ain't go to sleep just so i can go to walmart and get the shit that y'all needed when it got water bro i kept going through cases of water and then this episode tonight they want to sit here and come for me bro i had to keep telling y'all bitches to clean up clean up do this do that y'all gonna see me in trouble just cleaning up i'm getting an attitude because why the fuck am i having to go why the fuck am i having to do all the stuff i gotta do during the boot camp and then just come behind y'all and clean up behind y'all no that shit was lame it was no respect that shit was lame all right that shit was so lame Yeah, we went to Walmart like three times. Oh, we went to Walmart when you had left. We went to Walmart a lot of times, enough times for them to grab shit. They didn't grab shit because they didn't want to pay for shit. The fuck? Let's really talk about it. I'm <laughs> good. I guess they ain't want to grab shit because they wanted to save the money for the weed, bitch. I don't fucking know. Hey. Do you plan on doing another boot camp? Of course. Let me look at my computer. Mommy working, baby. You working? Yeah, go um, go eat your food. Okay. Didn't Bank Bay go grab a bunch? Yes, Bank. When Bank Bay came to the house, she went and grabbed food that she wanted for herself, like. about this on live on, on on youtube you gotta go look at it the live is on the stripper boot camp page when when they had first all started to get their hair done i was trying to sell cakes i was like get some curls and it wasn't I'm trying to tell you to get curls because I just want you to wear curls. It's I'm trying to tell you to get curls because I know how your hair look when you didn't wear it for a few hours. It don't look straight. Like it don't look as good. That's the only that's that's the only thing that that was. And it's just like you sit here getting mad at me when I'm just trying to make you look your best. Because when you was working in a club the night before, your hair wasn't holding up. It wasn't doing what it was supposed to be doing. And that's the only thing. But it's just like I'm future seasons. I'm going to say something one time. One time only. And I'll probably end up saying that shit more than one time. But it's just like, my job is here to help you. My job is not here to attack you, make you feel less than. My job is to sit here and make you a better dancer. Because at the end of the day, fuck going in a club and making making the money. My job is to, sit, to get you to sit here and see, after you make this money from this club, what's next? That's my job. I'm tired of working with people who just... Focus on the club, bro. We got to be focused beyond the club. Y'all see how I be focused beyond the club? Like, you got to be having shit going on besides just the club. And if that, it's always going to be girls like that. But I don't want to keep working with girls who only mission is to just go in the club and make money. Every, anybody can do that. Anybody can go in the club and make fucking money. But a lot of bitches can't go in the club, make that money, and do something useful with that fucking money. I'm tired of being around bitches 
who go in the club and make money, then one o'clock come the next day, you're broke because you didn't spend all your money on weed, on bullshit. Spend that shit on getting your credits together. Spend that shit on getting your household together. Spend that shit on getting your car if you don't have a car. Spend that shit on getting your apartment if you don't have a apartment. Like, let's talk about it. I'm tired of dealing with bitches who would wanna, who rather spend their last dollar on a fucking blunt instead of spending their last fucking dollar to go invest in some shit they need to invest in. Like, I, I'm tired of doing it. And the sad part about it is when you're doing this stripper shit, that's just what you get. Bitches be stuck in their ways. It's just like, let's keep this shit a buck. Because if bitches was really, if bitches was really came to the boot camp for that right reason, why I only got, I unfollowed Blossom, so I don't know what the fuck she doing. But before I only, before I unfollow her, only people I seen going hard with their YouTube was um, Trouble, Rissa, and Blossom. All y'all sat there and said how y'all want to do, how y'all want to go hard with y'all YouTube. How y'all sit here and put so much energy into attacking me, attacking the boot camp. Put this same energy into building your brand. Some of them wanted to do lashes. Some of them wanted to start a business. Put this same energy into that. Like, we get it. It's going to be drama. It's going to always be some shit. But at the end of the day, do what I do. Market your shit well. Stop. You spend so much time on negative shit that you forget about the good shit, the goals. Like, that's, I don't want to be around females that, that's like that. Like, I don't. I want to be around money-making ass bitches. And I'm not just talking about bitches that make a bag in a club. I'm talking about bitches that make a bag and make that bag triple for them. They're the type of bitches that I want to be around. Problem with um, is this the episode? I don't have no problems with smokers, bro. It'd be some cool ass people that I know that smoke, but guess what? They can function, they not moving slow, they not zoned the fuck out. Cause you know, sometimes you be zoned, bitch. They get up every day and tend to their business. Like, I don't have nothing against smokers, and I don't want y'all to think that. Cause bitch, I work in a club full of smokers, like. Okay, this is, let me say this shit. Real smokers handle their business first. Yeah, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. But I'm super excited about the episode tonight, bro. <laughs> the episode tonight. It's gonna be crazy. I don't have a problem with smoking whatsoever, but the problem becomes when smoking when when smoking hinders you from doing what you need to be doing. That's that's the problem. At this point, you're not just you you are at it. That's what it becomes like. And it, it, it's not even with smoking anything that you got going on in your life that stops you or hinders you from doing certain stuff. That's an addiction. Like, let's use alcohol, for example. Some people are ad addicted to alcohol. Or, um, I don't know. What's some more addiction, bitch? I don't know. Y'all know what the fuck I'm trying to say, bitch. I don't fucking know. Somebody said, damn, you wasn't really coaching. You was out hoeing. Hoeing with who? Be for real. If you want to just come on my live and say that, then say that. How was, like, bitches, I mean, that's the thing. Bitches, we want to say, just saying shit, just to say shit. Like, what? 
This is sexy. They sleepy and smoke. I don't got to prove shit to nobody because my team who was upstairs, they know exactly what the fuck I was doing during the boot camp that week. Bitch, I ain't made no extracurricular activity stops. No, I'll take that back. I don't know who was in the car with me, but one of them was in the car. I think like, no, like three of them was in the car. I made a stop. I think it was the first night we went to work. I made a stop to my mom's house, but I made a stop to my mom's house to go check on my son because I had to handle the situation with my son. And they seen that. You seen, you seen my son come out the motherfucking house. Me holding my son. Me spending a little time with my son. Like, stop playing with me, bro. I ain't made no extracurricular activity stops. Like, stop playing with me. Stop it. Somebody sent in our group or sent in our group chat to the Stripper T page. And you know what's so crazy, Russell? It's a lot of shit that a lot of them is doing. And I can really be sending out letters because y'all bitches is still on a contract. And I'm saying y'all bitches because that's just how I talk. Y'all bitches is still on the contract. I could be so low down and shysty, bro. I could really be a low down, dirty ass bitch. For me to just send out, for me to send a letter out to anybody, you have, you have to just keep pushing my buttons. Keep pushing my buttons. Everybody signed an in, uh, in, uh, excuse me, an uh, NDA. I could really be a low down, dirty ass bitch and take every bitch to court. But for what? For what? Because even when I win, you're not in a position to pay me. So. I'm still going to be losing on the back end because I'm going to be spending all this money just to take you to fucking court. But eventually, you're going to have to pay me. Anytime you do make money, that money's going to become mine because you have to pay me. But I'm not doing that, bro. I, it's so much shit that I can do that I don't do. And bitches want to talk about hoeing. Bro, it, let me just shut the fuck up because it be so much shit I can talk about that I don't talk about. Like, not once do you see me go to the back. To, you don't see me go dance in VIP. At my club. You don't ever see me go back there. And the only time I go back there is when it's a section. And they back there. Let's talk about it. Ask them how many times they went back to VIP. And I'm not saying, sitting here and trying to say, oh, they this or they that. But stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Y'all know the conversation that y'all had when I'm not around. Like, stop playing with me. That's not being low down and dirty breed. They signed them up. They did sign them papers. And it would be low down and dirty because I keep, and that just shows you the type of person that I am. I keep saving motherfuckers and motherfuckers just keep coming for me, attacking me, defaming my character, I'm trying to say I'm this, trying to say I'm that. And it's just like, but I really get on to y'all ass. You're not going to like it because I'm going to hit you where, where it hurt the most in them pockets. They do be lying on me so bad, but it's like, all, all you can do is just lie. All you can do is just lie. All you can do is just lie and make some shit up. That's it. Because one thing about it and two things for sure, if I do some shit, I'm going to say I did some shit. That's, that's on me, like, period. But then, no, you, you're not going to say it. <clears throat> At this point, make them pockets hurt. <laughs> and y'all, I'm just a side. If I'm gonna be hoeing, bro, we're gonna be the most expensive asshole ever. <laughs> bitch, if I'm gonna be hoeing, bitch, change my last name to Kardashian. Because, bitch, that's the type of level of hoeing I wanna be on. Like, stop playing with me. Anybody that's hoeing, because, bitch, even me, I'm not going to say I'm in a bad situation, but I always want to do better. But anybody that's hoeing, that ain't got a lot of shit to show for it, you hoeing wrong. So stop playing with me. Bitch, I ain't never had to hoe a day in her life. Like, ever. Stop playing with me. And that's why bitch be so mad, be trying to figure out how she make this money, how she do this, how she do that. Bitch, I go in a club, put my shoes on just like y'all. The only difference is, instead of me sitting down, mind you, I do sit down. But I know when to get the fuck up. I said to me sitting down the whole night smoking hookah. Worrying about what this bitch said, what that bitch said. Bitch, y'all leave y'all bitch right here. And I go ask this nigga if you want to dance. But y'all bitches go to work and y'all worry about the wrong thing. 
Y'all worry about what this bitch got going on, what this bitch got going on. Who who bought this bitch to work? Oh, this bitch over here talking to my cousin. Y'all be worried about the wrong thing. You need to be worried about the money, bro. When you go in the club, you there to make money. You're not there to make no fucking friends. Yeah, it comes with it. You're not there to motherfucking gospel. Gossip about this money. Let's have a conversation. Oh, bitch. This nigga just spent... Ooh, ooh, how much that nigga just gave you over there? Oh, bitch. Let's switch. Let's have them type of conversations. Like, let's stop having hater-ass conversations. When the bitch can't beat you financially... Then she try to she, she try to come up with other shit to beat you. No, bitch. No. And the, the crazy thing about it, I have always said this and I'm going to keep saying it. The same bitches that talk shit about me, it's the same bitches that... <laughs> I'm going to go to work tonight because I'm working tonight. Bitch ain't work all week because I'm, work, I'm working the weekends now. When I go to work tonight, the same bitches that be talking shit about me the whole week on all these T-pages, all this different shit, on their stories, be the same bitches... I come in the dressing room. Oh, hey, Bree. You look so pretty, Bree. Oh, when you gonna put me on your boot camp? Whoop the whoop. This or that. The same bitches talking shit. Be, and I got bitch on the leave shit. Be the same bitches in my DMs. I'll post something. Or they'll be on my YouTube videos. Because, bitch, I, I've seen them before. They'll be reaching out to me trying to be my friend. Like, bitch, say that shit. Y'all bitches just mad because I want to be our friends. Like, let's fucking talk about it. And I can't make this shit up, bro. I cannot make this shit up. The same bitches dragging me is the same bitches that wish I would be their fucking friend. Like, stop playing with me. Same bitches is dragging me is asking me when we gonna hang out. Now, why the fuck would I hang out with you and I know you be talking shit about me? Now, why would I do that? The same bitches that's disrespecting me in public is the same bitches that be trying to respect me in private. No, I don't give a fuck. Fuck them bitches. I don't give a fuck what no bitch say about me because at the end of the day, I know what type of person I am and I know what the fuck I do and I know how these bitches be begging for me to be their friends. Let's talk about it. But they don't want to tell y'all that. They don't want to tell y'all that. But I will. Why would I want to show love to anybody that I know is secretly you're talking about me? Why would I want to do that? <laughs> this one for y'all ass. Y'all know how I go live, right? The same bitches, Kitty, bitch, Kitty from my previous season, ho. You the same bitch that keep running your mouth and talking about me, but bitch, you be trying to be my friend. You're the same bitch who your friend. I have to show y'all her, but she be on my live. She always on my live. She just be popping in. If you ever been on my, if you ever been on my live while I'm at work. Then you fucking know. So, bitch, I was at the bar one day. Me and this other girl, it was a short girl. Me, I'm on my live, bitch, minding my business. <laughs> I'm on my live, minding my business, right? This bitch, right, right her friend on Facebook and was like, Oh, I don't know if you know, but we could see Bree showing your nipples on her live, bro. Be for real. If you don't want your friend to be around me, just say that. And I know that's what it was because your friend told me that. Because your friend, as soon as you as soon as you wrote your friend, guess what your friend did? Your friend came to me and said, look at this shit. I said, well, I said, who wrote that? Then she was like, you know who wrote it. She keeps telling me not to be your friend. Woo -do -woo. But she was like, I'm grown. Excuse me, I'm going to make my own decisions. Like, bitches is haters. I cannot make this shit up. And if I really... Matter of fact, let me look at my other phone. I really got tired of that because, bitch, this shit on 84%. This bitch can keep my name out their, out their mouth. The same bitches that was talking shit about me. The same bitches that I act this week. Bitch, when I see these hoes in the club, they don't say shit. Stop playing me. I done bitch every bitch out in that club. I done walk up to them. What's up? We fighting? What we doing? But no, bitches be crickets in the club. I cannot make this shit up. I put this shit on my son, bro. Stop fucking playing with me. Y'all bitches gonna stop fucking playing with me. Y'all be on the internet trying to talk shit about me, but when I apply a person y'all ass in real motherfucking life, y'all bitches just quiet. Y'all bitches don't wanna motherfucking fight. Because in, in real life, bitch, I fight. Fuck out this going back and forth. What we doing? We gonna fight or we just gonna shut the fuck up? Let's talk about it, bro. But I be the bully, but bitches is bullying me. I'm minding my business, but bitches is bullying me and trying to get bitches to stop being my friend. Like, how that work? How the fuck that work? Let me look at my phone.
Bitch, it's not even her. It's a lot of them. Kitty, Caramel, Danger. Bitch, keep my name out your motherfucking mouth. Because bitch, when I address y'all hoes in a motherfucking club, y'all don't have shit to say. Don't talk about me. And bitch, I won't talk about you. And the only time I talk about a bitch is when they talking about me. The fuck? Keep my name out your mouth. Because bitch, I got the receipts. When I come to y'all hoes in DM, you bitches is quiet. At the end of the night, when I come to you bitches and say, what's up? What's the problem? What we doing? You bitches is quiet. But you bitches want to get on your fucking phone and you want to sit here. Oh, I don't fuck with this bitch, this bitch, this, that. This bitch don't know how to be a friend, woo the woo But, bitch, when I come to you, it's none of that. Like, let's let's keep this shit a bug. Keep it a bug. Stop telling me. Keep my name out of your mouth. And I'm blogging tonight. When I go to work tonight, I'm like, so what's that shit you was saying earlier this week? What's that shit you said the other day? Crickets. None of that. Stop telling me. I'm not cool with that bitch. I'm on 86%. See, Brie, that's what you get for being nice. You should have left the blue wig stuck to her head. <sighs> But the crazy thing about it, all these bitches that sing her saying don't fuck me. And y'all wanna sit here and say I'm not a friend. So all these bitches, when y'all was homeless, tell these bitches who y'all was staying with. Let's talk about it. When these niggas that y'all be dealing with not giving y'all no money, tell these bitches who was paying for shit. Let's talk about it. Like, stop playing me. If I don't know how to do nothing else, bitch, I know how to be a friend. Because if I didn't know how to be a friend, I would have been released a motherfucking World War Eight motherfucking book on these hoes. Like, stop fucking playing with me. Stop, stop playing with me. Somebody said, now what happened? Give us a T. Give us T. That's the thing. These bitches want the T. <laughs> I just hate how bitches be trying to jump on the bandwagon, bro. Every every female that has been around me, I have put them in a position to make money. And they can't if they say I did it, they're lying. Every female that's around me, I have sat down and had real deal conversation with them. Okay, what you got going on? Okay. Let's figure out how we can get your stuff together. Every female that has been around me, and this is really what I fucked up at. Every when I'm with somebody's friend, when I'm really somebody's friend, I tend to put my needs aside to help them. Every person I have ever been friends with can tell you that shit, bro. I ain't never been no fake friends to nobody ever, ever in my life. Bitches tend to forget how you help them come up, how you help them when nobody else was helping them, how you been there for them. Like, bitches be forgetting that. Like, and that's just what, that's what gets me. Like, how you gonna forget? Same. How you gonna forget all that? Bro, you quick to say, oh, nobody worry about this bitch. I'm, I'm this or I'm, I'm, I'm on this, I'm on that. Bro, sh cut the bullshit. Cut the bullshit. Right, bitches, bitches know they can bring my name up. And they gonna get some fucking weed. Like. But I'm vlogging tonight. And when this get done, I'm gonna when this get done, I'm gonna work on part two. And then I'm gonna work on our OnlyFans content. And then I'm gonna try to work on my vlogs. But I gotta go get my makeup done at seven. So some not gonna get done, but it's gonna get done. Who caramel? Caramel's the same bitch that went on my birthday trip last year, bitch. And you ain't even have to pay for shit, bitch. Let's talk about it. You the same bitch that I bitched out in a motherfucking club a few weeks ago. Let's talk about it. I can call Onion right the fuck now. You're the same bitch that want to sit here and say, oh, you don't know how to be friends. But, bitch, you don't know how to be friends, bitch. Let's talk about it. How you really was just 
around me because a bitch had motherfucking money. You was the same bitch that set my friend up and got my friend almost robbed because bitch, you was trying to rob a nigga. Let's talk about it, bro. Stop fucking playing me. But bitch don't want to tell you what the fuck they do. Talking about something. I'm worried about my money. Let's talk about how you really make your money. Let's talk about it, bitch. Let's talk about it. I really got tired today, bro. I've been in the house this whole week minding my fucking business. Like, and bitches want to keep playing, renaming their motherfucking mouth. Keep my name out your mouth. Because when I start putting y'all bitches' name in my motherfucking mouth, then it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a whole motherfucking problem. Let's, let's talk about how you got left. Let me let me shut up. Let me shut up. I ain't gonna say that part. Let me shut up. Let me shut up. Y'all see, cause bitch, my live back. We back in action, bitch. Y'all see tonight. The fuck. I don't have I don't have no beef with Arabia. Stop saying that. Like, I don't have no problem with Arabia. Why do y'all keep forming trying to keep coming to that conclusion? I don't have no beef with her at all. My beef is with her friend. <laughs> My beef is with her ex-girlfriend. The fuck? So that bitch keep my name out her mouth, bitch. Because when I come to you, you be crickets. You don't be saying shit. When I bitch your ass in the club a few weeks ago, you ain't say shit. You ain't say nothing. You was just... Bro, I was just... Last weekend when I was working... I was sitting at the bar smoking my hookah. Shout out to Stone Cold. I fought with her. She was on stage, but this bitch fell off the stage. This bitch right here, camera, old goofy looking, animal looking ass bitch. You over here. Bitches be wanna be my friends so bad in private, but in public, we wanna act like they don't be stunning, bitch. Bitch, you was trying to laugh with me, cause I did laugh, cause she almost fell off stage. But bitch, Stone Cold laughed with my ass, cause the shit was funny. But bitch, you laughing with me, trying to joke with me, like stop playing with me. The fuck? Tell them bitches why we really not cool, man, cause I can't be a friend, cause the bitch I don't fuck with your snake ass. You's a snake, and you's a robber. And when I really find out who, one thing about it, I'm really God really gonna reveal, or even if he don't, he probably already revealed. Whoever broke into my house, my previous house, bro. God, you know, and I'm not saying she did it, but bro, bitches need to be for real. Bitches need to be fucking for real, bro. She do look like an animal. And I told on you that. Like, the only reason... The only reason... And I told her to her face, I don't care. I really do not be giving a fuck, bro. The only reason me and her was ever even cool was because of Anya. And then even outside of Anya, the only reason me and her was ever even cool was because of Arabia. If it wasn't for Arabia, if it wasn't for Anya, that bitch would even be around me. That bitch would flip, bro, that bitch would flip on you for some money. She would, she would, she would, any bitch that would flip on you about some money, you need to keep that bitch far away from you. Like, stop playing with me. And if she keep, if she keep bringing my name in her mouth, if this bitch go on her Instagram and post anything about me with rename any bitch, I got some for your ass. And when I say I got some for your ass, I'm really gonna tell people how you really make your fucking money, bitch. Let's talk about it. The fuck. I'm on 93%. But these bitches don't tell y'all that. They don't they don't be telling y'all that. All they just want to say is, oh, Brie don't know how to be a friend. Bitch, Brie will really show you what the fuck's not a friend, bitch. The fuck? The thing is, I have a hell of friends that don't work in the club, but y'all not going to fucking see them because the internet, I feel like the internet probably do play a role in it. But I, this how you know bitches is, like the bitches that I have, that's my friend. Outside that club, this is how you know they really genius for me. They come to me, because y'all know I like to get content, I like to vlog. They come to me and be like, Bree, if you gonna be vlogging, can you just chill out with that vlogging stuff while we out? Because anywhere I go, I just be vlog. They don't, they not press, they not press to be in my content. If anything, they don't want to be in my content. And I like, of course, you know, I still like vlogging, but I like bitches who make it known. Like, bitch, we fuck with you for you not because you're vlogging or not because you can put us in your vlog then the type of friends that i like not bitches 
that no no yeah i remember that what are you what are you talking about This shit on 94%. What time is it? Mm. Oh, I'm about to host another tip of thumb, but not right now. Because I got shit to do. Not right now. Not right now. Yes, y'all getting another video at 8 p.m. Who said something about my son? Who? Let me scroll up. Who said something about my son? Come back. <clears throat> Let me motherfucking know. Drop an ad, Eddie. Would you do any more YouTube collabs? I don't know. Maybe, but not, I'm not on that right now. I'm on some other stuff. Keep that negative energy in space, all yours, and people all of your space, not worth the drama. And that's the thing. When I start dropping bitches like flies, then bitches want to be sit here and say, oh, she don't know how to be a friend. I know how to be a friend when y'all bitches needed me. I knew how to be a friend when y'all bitches was making money off. Excuse me, making money off me. I knew how to be a friend when I used to call y'all bitches to sessions to eat with me. I knew how to be a friend then. But the minute I decided to put me first, now nah, I don't know how to be a friend. Get that shit out of here. Um, I don't know when it come out, but soon though. Soon. I don't know when it's coming out, but go follow the City Girls of Atlanta. I know they said they dropping a billboard next week. The billboard is gonna be so freaking fine. Like we all look, we all look so cute. Who say you're not a good friend? This bitch Caramel said I'm not a good friend. Bitch Danger said I wasn't a good friend. And trouble, I don't even know. Was you even in there? Matter of fact, bitch, where the fuck you at? You on my life. The fuck? Go like me. What you doing? It's giving, I just woke up. <laughs> You already know. What you doing? I'm laying in my, I'm laying in the, I'm laying in the big ass bed. Oh. So tell us who the fuck caramel is. Oh, it's somebody at work. Well, somebody who you, we used to be cool. Well, I don't know because this is new to me. Dang, her shit going out. Oh fuck! I can't hear. Hey y'all, what's up? Bitch, they didn't gave a real bitch her live back. <laughs> we love for trouble. Love y'all too. We got to go to work. I know I gotta get the fuck up. Yeah, we finna make the money. Um, what happened? I don't even know. You even like. <laughs> Well, first of all, bitch, because you know I be keeping shit off social media because I don't. If I got a job, I don't take that shit to social media. Hmm? Huh? Huh? I said, please don't cover my edges. It's 4C. If you could recommend me to a good edge control, then you could talk shit. But please don't talk about my edges. My hair is. But go ahead. Like, a few weeks ago at the end of the night, and bitch, I can call on you to verify this shit. Um, we was in a, and bitch, fuck, fuck the end of the night. Remember the group, the group message that I sent out a year ago when my dad died and I was like, y'all bitches 
really lag. I said some shit along the lines, y'all bitches don't. Nobody been yeah, telling me that. That was that was like after when the hundred K part of me supposed to do right. I don't, I'm I don't. I don't remember, but I remember after we came back from Florida. Then when my dad died, and I I sent a group message and I was like, I said something along the lines like, I appreciate the ones who've been checking up on me for the rest of y'all. Like the people around her that don't have no problem with her, we think alike. That's all I can say. And I admit when I'm wrong, cause bitch, I know I got a bad attitude. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I know when but, I'm mad, my shit's on ten. I know that. Like, but I didn't. But I didn't know that she didn't like Gary. Who? You didn't know that? <laughs> yeah. I yeah, know she said because bitch, she... when we in the club, you don't you don't get them vibes. Like when we in the club, it's it's just the uh, people trying to act like they don't fuck with me, but bitch, y'all really do be trying to fuck me in real life. Like stop playing with me, like. What the fuck? Let me know about this video. That's crazy, bro. It's a new season, y'all. That's why. You know when you trying to blossom into a new flower or a new the season changing when well, you couldn't be blah the season changing. That's all that means. The season changing. And it's gonna be a good ass season. You say you working tonight? Hell yeah. How, how has it been excuse me, how has it been like the whole week? Cause bitch, I haven't been here. You went to work last night? Yeah, you, you know I'm doing a Thursday, but it been straight, it been money, but it's like it either somebody took it or it was a section, but I don't know. Oh. Not too late, bitch, to take your money. Fuck no. Oh. I pull out a background right now. It just hasn't been, you know, I went on YouTube, but hell no, I've been making my money. It's okay, I'm in that hole tonight. 
If I hold these bitches in that autumn and they come at the whole motherfucking week, because I'm in that whole night. Talk to this custom, this custom, that custom. Oh, you want to dance? Oh, that's your custom. I don't give a fuck. Let's talk about it. <laughs> it this is, is right, though. It hasn't been like, but it's been like. What's okay, y'all, because the haters made me get us, let us get off live. What was the, the edge control again? <laughs> oh, I'm so mad. Oh, my God, bro. That's all we can do. These hoes worry about the wrong thing. The wrong fucking thing. The wrong thing. The wrong thing. They be worried about the wrong thing so much, y'all. They don't even know that they straight. <laughs> That how that how, how bad it is. You worried about something but so bad? But yeah. the This is gonna come for me. It's not like talk about me. Okay, this should never get it. Yeah, but bitch, let's talk about y'all hoes. So fuck. You play. I want to play this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a YouTube. It's called Hustle Anonymous. I've been posting. I got another video about to upload. Follow me, please. I'm on or subscribe. Oh, my God. It's my Instagram. Subscribe, please. Oh, God, y'all. These hoes were on the wrong thing. You be, you don't be worried about no car. You still take an Uber. I'm not saying Uber bad because y'all going to chump me off. But the hoes that be showing off enough, they still taking Uber. Still sleeping at the customer house. Still sleeping at the $40 hotel. Let's talk about it, bro. You supposed to be better than me. I'm st I still feel like I'm still a baby stripper. Let's talk about it, bro. Like, y'all don't be worried about y'all own shit. Y'all be worried about another piece of shit. Like, let's talk about it. Like, let's be real. What they about me, let's be real for real. Y'all don't be worried about y'all self. I be worried about my, my money and my money. <laughs> In that sleep, because we're gonna be like, you sleep too much in that sleep. That what I be worried about. Like, these hoes weird. That why they that the reason why they, they saying it is they weird, bro. This bitch always been a real bitch, bro. She ain't never I don't know. I don't know. But somebody said opposites attract. Yeah, that bitch the yin to my yank, but that bitch crazy, we crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. But the crazy thing is, I'm outside the crazy shit. I'm the sweetest person yeah. ever. I'm only crazy yeah, like when I get pissed really off. Fuck. This bitch be checking, man. This bitch check on us. This bitch, man. I don't even gotta say too much. I'm not even gonna say too much. Cause this bitch, <laughs> I already know what she be doing. Y'all just seeing this thirty second shit. This bitch is real as fuck, bro. <laughs> 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 what they said they don't like me no you can see the comments yeah I don't know. Oh. <laughs> no i'm not talking shit now i know the ubers add up it's what she's saying is it's because we have all took uber to work at one point when you yeah, to yeah. Like, what she's saying is it should be no reason why. Because some people, we need a little extra time. And it's okay if you, gotta, if you need to get back on your feet. But what she's saying is, you shouldn't be dancing for like... She's saying like your priorities is in the wrong spot. That's what she's saying. Like, maybe instead of worrying about what this bitch got going on, what that bitch got going on, maybe you need to worry about putting money into your bank account that you probably can't even get because you scammed that bitch the fuck out. So maybe you need to go get a Walmart money network card and figure out how you can get a card. That's what she's saying. That's what I'm saying, y'all. Like how she said, she's saying exactly what I'm thinking. Like, these hoes got time. What is time, bruh? <laughs> Where the real banks out? Where the real people that still got a bank account and they credit strong, bruh? Where that at? That's what I want. Who know how to I'm trying to build my credit more. Let's get to the 800s. Tell me. Let's get to the 800s. That's what I'm talking hard about. Hard the reason why I'm saying Uber, y'all, is because these girls be popping shit. Then I be seeing them in their hoodies. They hiding in the Uber. They be, I don't know, they be talking shit. That's what I'm talking about. No, Trouble, you know I get where you coming from. They be on Instagram 
try to make it seem like they they life is this way. And bitch, you do be hiding when you hop out that Uber. Or bitch, you'll see you'll go out to eat. And you, oh, you, they can't hide it because they be getting the Ubers that be having the uh the magazine on top that be driving. I know y'all seen that shit. <laughs> oh my god. I know y'all seen that shit before, bro. I know y'all seen that shit. Oh yeah, Bank of America is where it's at. I love Bank of America. Everybody be talking shit, but I don't know. I love Bank of America. Love them. Oh, my YouTube is Hustle Anonymous. It's in my link. If you follow me on Instagram, it's in my link. I mean, it's in my bio. Now, y'all, I'm just being real because, like, if y'all get trouble, I'm gonna go super short Instagram. I mean, not your Instagram, your YouTube. Okay. Let me see. How many subscribers you got right now? Uh, I got 86. If y'all get trouble to 100 subscribers, I'll drop two episodes tonight. So. But if y'all don't get her to 100 subscribers by 8, 8 p.m., I'm only dropping one. Let me see. Let me. Oh, my it. God. Just a little old trouble. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Where did thing get? Okay, Bro, can see. you? No, look. Can you tell who the 100 subscribers? It going to tell you? No, your subscriber count is going to go up. Right now, she at 8 How about to say, I will cash up you $10, bro. Just to just for real, I was gonna get back if you was the hundred, but I'm not gonna be able to tell who it is. I'm mad. Go to her Instagram, it's in her bio. It's called Hustle Anonymous. She at 87 right now. Get her to 100 subscribers, or I'm not dropping two episodes. I'm not even <laughs> and do you think, like, do you think because 100 minus 87 that's really not a lot? How many people on my life? It's 107 people on my life. We really can do like 150. Ooh. One thing then I'm going to drop the episode. Two. I got an episode ready. It's already edited. I just got to drop. I'm going to drop episode two. Oh, God. Let's push it. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm on the 100. You can see what we lied last night. Huh? Go subscribe and comment done when y'all get done. Let's get her to a honey. But y'all, like, the reason why I really got on this live, nobody can say this bitch not a real friend. Bitch, not for at 98. Huh? <laughs> Don't play with Brie Gang. Like, they gonna show up and show up every fucking time. Let me y'all. see, bro. They let dead ass money that two see. episodes. I'm on that second phone. <laughs> let me see. Let me see what that hot tea about. Ooh. Let me see. Let Don't me play see. with people. Look what I'm trying to watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to catch up for real. Let me go, let me go over here and work on episode two. Got that. <laughs> oh, now y'all got 200. That was up. I fucked with y'all. Damn, y'all wasn't playing. They said, they said, breathe out of spot, though. We need two episodes tonight, man. <laughs> two, the fuck. <laughs> Thank y'all. I fuck with y'all. Oh, my channel name. My boat job for real. It's freaking hot. Oh, let me go. Oh, somebody said two hundred all the way. I fuck with y'all. <laughs> oh, good. That's how much on shit we need three. Not too much, now. Not too, <laughs> much, too much. <laughs> Hold the motherfucking. Uh, what is it? Hold your horses. Oh, thank you. I saw. I saw her. She needs to be promoting her channel in the comments, but I don't never see her. No, shorty. I don't know. It be kicking me out. I don't know. When the last time you tried? When people talk shit, they be like, "Trouble ugly." I be like, "Subscribe to that channel." Trouble look nice right now. Subscribe to that <laughs> channel. Trouble is doing this. I be pressed. It don't be going. I don't know what's going on. Okay. The Caleb. Okay. Fuck you. Oh, work. I'm just playing. <laughs> Somebody said. Please up, yeah. I'm gonna upload one. Since y'all got me to 100, 
she uploading two. I'm uploading one, that three. I think I got to get to my iPad. I ain't got my iPad. Bitch, you can upload on your phone. I don't have iMovie on my phone. Well, download it. Oh, you can. You. Oh, you can. <laughs> it, oh. Bro, you play too much. You play all day. No, I got all the, man, I got all these vlogs. I'm ready, bro. Oh, they said what time y'all going to work tonight? You know, bitch like me just got to just gotta show up when she show up. Yeah, because that's yeah. Been stepping on our necks, y'all. Let me tell y'all how this hoe came in some glittery-ass boots and a nice-ass outfit. <laughs> Try to show out on us. Oh, God. She tried to show out. I was like, I know. I was on top of the box. I was like, I know this not Bree. This she sat down like a customer and got a shot. I was <laughs> like, oh, okay, okay. Okay. She be showing out on this. Thank you. Oh, she said she gotta get her makeup done. We don't know when Bree can finish show out on this. But yeah, she gonna come before 10 30 though, I know that. My makeup appointment at seven. Mm. Hey, so okay, babe, DM me. Honey bye. Honey B nails. Okay. Please DM me because I'm you just tired reminded me. I don't even I'm missing the nails. I'm to go on and link the nails. Nail. I want even though I love them. I love going, but it like I be wanting to support. Please. I'm going to pay. I'm not a broke bitch. I don't just want my nail did. I'm going to pay and tip. <laughs> Please do my nails. And I'm going to post it on my page. That's how much love I love. Mm. Oh, God. You play too much. For real. One thing about me, I always pay, bro. For real. For real, for real, for real. Okay, bit. Bit, bit, bit. For real, y'all. Y'all know people be 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 acting funny. I'm not saying that person gonna act funny, but y'all know people be acting funny when they be doing your nails. I like to pay. If I don't accidentally post, I know I pay. If I post late, I know I still no, pay. That's the thing about like I don't really don't I don't like people doing my shit for free because then they feel like you're obligated to post them. It's like well, what if I don't like your work? Or what if, like, I just don't want to post you? And then it's not even that. It's like, I charge for people to get posted on my shit. So that's why I really don't be letting people do my stuff. So let me, if I do decide to do with you, I understand you saying it's free, but still, let me pay for it. So just in case I don't want to post you, you still got your money sucked out of this. Yeah, for real. It's just love. Love on my part. Because I know how I feel, y'all. That's why I be just. I don't know any clubs hiring for house moms, y'all. Huh? Somebody said, do you know any clubs hiring for house moms? Mm, no, I don't know. Hey, y'all. Somebody said, hey, y'all. Yo, this episode got me so... This shit is funny. <laughs> what, the one you finna drop tonight? Yes, this, this is the one when we did the promo and all of us was looking crazy. Oh, yeah. Cause they don't call me Bambi the deer on that bitch. So yeah, I was. Who calls you Bambi the deer? Somebody in here called me. Bro, I be reading the comment. They be funny. I think I just be laughing at that shit. Somebody said I, I gotta catch up. Though. What would be for real? The reason you don't want to post at work. Me, my reason is y'all gotta look at it like this is for me. And trouble can answer, but for me, people is emailing me on a regular to get me to promote their work, promote their hair, promote their brand, their clothing. And I'm just not talking about regular people. I'm talking about, like, companies and stuff. And I charge for that. And it sucks that that's the that's where I'm at. But it's just, like, it's a business thing. So it's just, like, like if I'm charging a company to promote their stuff, and, and, you know, everybody don't have the money right away for you to promote their stuff, and that's all perfect and all, but... I really don't like doing free stuff because then I'm going to feel like I'm obligated to post your stuff. And it's like, that's not, that's not it. Like, no. So that's why I really don't like doing, getting free stuff. Like, even when people hit me up and say, oh, can I do this for free? Nine times out of ten, I'm just like, oh, well, I, I don't want it for free. Let me pay for the service because now that it's free, 
you're going to feel like I'm obligated to post you and tag you on my Instagram. Or I'm obligated to post you on my video. And it's like, that's not the case. If y'all don't know that it's a website called Social Blue Book. Everybody on this live, if you do like um, social media, if you do TikTok, whatever you do, like if you got to, if bitch, all y'all really, because y'all on Instagram, go put your numbers in Social Blue Book and you'll be surprised at what you should be charging. It's just, it's about business at the end of the day. Like, that's just how I look at stuff. And I, I hate when people are like, oh, you money homie, you money homie. Me posting shit, people shit for free is not going to help me pay my bills and take care of my son. Like, at the end of the day, nobody's going to help me provide for me and mine, so I got to provide for myself. And if that means I got to charge people to go on my stuff, that's what it means. Because at one point, I wasn't there. I had to work. I had to build up. I had to get to where I'm at now to be able to charge. It's not I'm just charging off the rip. I had, I got experience to be able to charge. So I hate when people just be like, oh, well, every Things about money to you. Everything is not about money, but when you and when you on a different level and when you look at certain stuff a different way, y'all will do the same thing. Like when you know how much you're worth, you're not about to keep selling for years. I gave y'all free content for years, bro. For years. Let's talk about it. I gave y'all so many. I re, I be reposting so many. I used to post so much people stuff for years. If you go on my ship of life for free page, when I didn't have my PO box, I was giving out free stuff for years. Like it comes to a point where, yeah, you appreciate your supporters, yeah, you appreciate everybody that's team breed, but it comes to a point where free support can only get you so far. You have to still look out for you and your family. So, yeah. Well, I ain't got too much to say. I don't know how it feels. <laughs> Today, the first time somebody ever was like, oh, let me do your nails. She a mini celebrity, so she know the back end. Me? I still gonna pay. I don't care if y'all make me. I'm just, I still gonna pay. Because I know how I feel. I used to do lashes when I was in college and try to do makeup. I stopped all that. I don't know why. But I just, I don't know. I just know how I feel. Like, I don't work so hard.